Hey guys, Carl Cooper here with On The Black. So just wanted to catch up with everyone on obviously what everyone's talking about today and that is uh, this Fred Wilpon article and really not even the entire article, just a small fraction of it where he made uh, some comments uh, about some of the, the Mets players. And what I wanted to do is kind of go through each of the, the quotes that were in the article uh, and then give you kind of my thoughts on, on each one of the quotes. Uh, the first one uh, is about Jose Reyes, and uh, Will Pond says he thinks he's going to get Carl Crawford money. Uh, he's had everything wrong with him. Uh, he won't get it. Um, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I think that Reyes uh, will get a big contract one way or the other, uh, either by the Mets or by some other team. Uh, he's been playing outstanding baseball so far this year. Uh, really seeing what a healthy uh, Jose Reyes can do for a team offensively and defensively. Um, and I think that, you know, he's setting himself up for a big payday, whether it be from the Mets or from some other team. You know, I'm, I'm hopeful that Reyes will stay with the Mets, but, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, we'll see uh, what the Mets do uh, with Reyes as we get closer to the trade deadline and this offseason. Uh, the next one is about David Wright, and he says, a really good kid. A very good player, not a superstar. And, you know, David Wright's one of my favorite players. Um, I always kind of, in a sense, defend David Wright when people say that he's not clutch. I always uh, ask uh, people to go check his stats, and I always defend and say that, you know, even though Wright doesn't come through all the time, he does come through a good portion of the time. So, uh, you know, from that standpoint, uh, you know, I like David Wright. Uh, I would agree with that, though. I don't think David Wright is a superstar in the sense of uh, he's not Albert Pujols. He's not Alex Rodriguez. He's not uh, some of the other big name players in the game. Is he a solid third baseman and a good offensive player? Absolutely. Is he a very good player? Absolutely. Is he an all star player? Absolutely. But I don't think he's a superstar. I don't think he's in that, you know, when you talk about who are some of the best players in the game, I don't think he's in that conversation. But I, at the same time, I don't think anything's wrong with that. So really don't think that uh, Will Pond was, uh, in a sense, criticizing Wright for that because there's nothing wrong with being a very good player. Uh, the next comment uh, about Ike Davis, he says, uh, good hitter. He's on a, uh, you know, I won't say the word, but he's on a, a, a crappy team. Uh, crappy team, good hitter. Uh, you know, he used another word besides crappy, but, you know, I'll leave it at that. I think uh, I, I kind of agree with that. I mean, the team is, is a, as you can see, a 500 team so far this year. Uh, Ike Davis, when he's been in that lineup, he's been one of the most productive offensive players for the Mets when he's in that lineup. Uh, he's been hitting home runs. He's been driving guys in. And, you know, I think one day that Davis can probably be a cleanup hitter, uh, whether, you know, hopefully in, in this Mets lineup. So we'll see. But uh, Davis, a uh, solid player uh, and one of my favorites on the team. Uh, and lastly, which is probably the more um, most controversial of, of the quotes, uh, which is about uh, Carlos Beltran. And Wilpon says, uh, we had some schmuck in New York who paid him based on that one series. And Wilpon was referring to himself. And then he says he's 65 to 70 percent of of what he was. And, you know, he probably well, he isn't he's not the same player that the Mets signed uh, originally, but. You know, that's due to the injuries. It's not due to a, a lack of effort or due to a, a diminishing talent. It's really the injuries. Um, I still think that the Beltran signing, and, and this will probably get debated, you know, uh, after Beltran is, has left the Mets. But, you know, I still think that at the time, the Beltran signing was a good signing for this team. Uh, and it was for more than just one series. You know, Beltran, before the injuries, was a five-tool player. Before the injuries, uh, Beltran, in my eyes, was regarded as the best all-around center fielder in baseball. Uh, he's got tremendous talent, uh, even seeing it now. Even after all the injuries, even though he's not maybe not 100% healthy right now, Beltran is still hitting the cover off the ball and might be you know, the most uh, productive and consistent player for the Mets so far this season. So you know, I don't think that Beltran signing was a, was a bad signing. I think it was... Uh, a, a good signing. It's unfortunately what injuries did to him. But if you look at his first couple years with the Mets, he put up some really good offensive numbers in in those years. Now, people are going to point to uh, him taking that last strike in the 2006 playoffs, and and that's fine. That's unfortunate. But 
Uh, you know, Beltran has been a, a clutch player before he got to the Mets. And there's been times when at the, when he's been with the Mets that he's he's been clutch as well, too. So, uh, you know, and there'll be a lot more debated about Beltran once he's left the Mets. But, you know, those are kind of my thoughts uh, and responses, I guess, if you will, to Will Pond's comments. Um, you know, I'm not I, I, I guess the only thing that I'm shocked about is that Will Pond as the owner of the Mets came out and made these comments. You know, these are comments that bloggers make these are comments that you know people in bars that have conversations about the Mets make and I'm just a little surprised that the owner of the team came out and made these comments but those are my thoughts uh would love to have a conversation uh with you guys on this so please leave a comment below the video let me know what you think and I'll talk to you soon